Hello friends, welcome to this investment banking tutorial from Wall Street Mojo. Let us now look at the structure of an investment bank. The structure of the investment bank is actually divided into some jargons. I will call this as front office. Then there is something called middle office. And then we have another thing called back office. What does this front office, middle office and back office actually mean in this context? So when we talk about investment banking, core jobs of investment banking where, you know, investment bankers are directly dealing with clients. So front office means, you know, being the face of the organization. So you're dealing directly with the clients and hence you are within working in a front office. Likewise, think of sales and trading desk sales and trading desks as we have discussed you know this these are the guys who actually directly talk to the clients and uh, advise them on uh, the buy and sell recommendations of the stocks so since they are directly interacting with the clients they are considered to be a front office kind of roles likewise research is also considered to be a front office role because uh, they are also directly interacting with the client you know recommending uh, their own set of uh, analysis about buy sell on a particular stock. So we have earlier seen that how research sales and trading actually work in tandem in order to convince a client. So this is front office view. Now what is middle office uh, and who comes in between? So when we talk about investment banking structure, something like uh, you know risk management team, they come in the middle office. What's the key role of uh, a middle office? And the middle office key role is to actually interact with the front office guys and to ensure that they do not engage in any set of activities which, you know, out of compliance uh, or uh, probably the risks are too much for the investment bank to take. So uh, in order to check the work associated with the front office, middle office actually, the people employed here actually does the risk assessment related to it. So all the controls and procedures, finance control guys, even the compliance, the strategy guys, all of them actually come here and they work as a part of the middle office. Then uh, this brings us to the last thing that who works on the back office. So a uh, back office are those guys who are actually not interacting with the clients. So, you know, uh, you can uh, say that uh, the IT guys or the technology guys, they are the ones who uh, would be considered to be working in a back office in the investment bank. Reason being that they are not interacting with the clients. It's just a nomenclature. So uh, uh, don't worry about, you know, why IT guys are, you know, not classified as back office think of whether are they facing the real clients if no then they could be either classified as middle office or back office also the operations guys operation employees who are you know uh, helping out in terms of smooth functioning of the business or the investment bank can be classified as back office employees with this i hope that you have probably understood what are the roles and responsibilities of individual functions within an investment bank and um, EduCBA is uh, kind of uh, into investment banking and research based trainings and if you want to learn more about individual functions and want to make a career in this you may want to kind of opt for different training which we actually give in equity research, financial modeling, M&A, sales and trading etc.